What's up guys, David Trebek here. Today I'm going to be doing another album reaction here. Today I'm going to be checking out an album from Sufjan Stevens. This is Carrie and Lowell. Now I have heard of Sufjan Stevens before. I have heard a couple of his songs as well. Um, but I've never listened to a full album. I know he's kind of a singer-songwriter indie type artist. Um, so yeah, I know that once this is another album that has received quite a bit of critical acclaim. Um... And I did do some research on this as well. Carrie is apparently his mother that passed away in 2012. And Lowell is his stepdad, I'm pretty sure, that passed away as well. Um, so I don't think this is not going to be a very uh, lighthearted or it's it's probably going to be pretty depressing. And um, probably focusing on their death a lot. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm hyped to get into this. Um, I have heard a lot of stuff about this guy, so... We're gonna we're gonna jump right in. Let's go. Hold up. Turn that up. My guitar sounds great. This is what the guitars are doing. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you. There's a forest and an acre before us, but I don't know where to begin. But I don't know where to begin again. I lost my strength completely. Oh, be near me, tired old mare with the wind in your hair. Really weird effect, first off, on his voice. I kind of like it, though. Um, the From the songs I have heard of Sufjan Stevens, the part that I noticed the most is just kind of his singing style. Um, it's like there's something really unique about his voice in general, um, and I'm already noticing that on this song already. I can't even, like, really explain it. It's kind of, like, really breathy. Um I don't know. I don't know. I just it, there's something about it that's super unique. Um, so yeah, I gotta I gotta actually like I I feel like this is gonna be one of those albums where I have to actually pay attention to the lyrics a lot. So I'm kind of just like switching and trying to switch into that mode right now. Amethyst and flowers on the table. Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose a friend is a friend. Ooh, 
I like that. Wow, that ending, that ending was beautiful, holy, those vocals, great harmonies, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting such a, like, stripped back instrumental, it was pretty much just a guitar the entire time, I mean, there was a piano that came in that kind of filled up the sound, that was super nice, um, but even though it was super stripped back, it didn't feel like it was missing something, really, like, because his, his, his songwriting was strong enough to kind of carry it, um, and it didn't come become boring at all for me. Usually I'm not a big fan of super stripped back instrumentals, but that I feel like was a, a case of a strong one because the, the melodies of the guitar were catchy enough too, um, and his melody in terms of his singing was catchy enough too, and then putting on like the, his strong songwriting on top of that. Um, and th yeah, it was a good switch up in the end too with the vocals that came in. Um, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I didn't catch much of the songwriting because, um, yeah. If you if you guys are new here, I'm just not. I don't pay attention to the lyrics that much, so I'm gonna have to actually like actively do that on this first listen, um, which I usually don't do. Um, when I do listen to albums for like times after, I do pay attention to the lyrics, but usually on a first listen, I don't. But that might have to be different with this video. We'll see. on this part.
this is great. That was amazing. Um, wow. I liked that more than the first track, definitely. Um, yeah, I thought that switch up halfway through was great. Um, instrumental became a lot more dense and layered. Um, I love the little claps in the mix, love the little elect electronic instruments, um, the piano chords, um, and then that kind of super reverby unsettling ending there too um i gotta admit i'm not catching much of the meaning of these songs but you know who cares if i don't catch the meaning on a first listen it doesn't really matter i can listen to it again i can look at the lyrics i can it's it's not a big deal so i'm just gonna enjoy this how i want to enjoy it and um yeah two for two such a good job of just making like subtle changes in the sound but it just like expands the soundscape so much like literally it was just one instrument being added that faint little was it a synth or was it i can't even tell but it just like expanded the soundscape so much that was great <laughs> Almost like strings or something. On the sheet I see your horizon. All of me pressed onto you. Ooh. Ooh. But in this light you look like 
Poseidon I'm just a ghost to walk right through a spew Okay. I don't really have much to add um, on what onto what I've already said. Like instrumentally, that was amazing once again. Um, and his voice is his his singing voice is so soft; it's almost like a whisper. Um, and I don't know if he always sings like this or if he ever switches it up, but I kind of like it. There's something just super calming about that kind of almost whispered, super soft singing uh, style. And um, like I said, the the soundscape on that one, the way it expanded, um, was so subtle. Like he wasn't even adding that much, but the soundscape just expanded so much. Like it was so effective. That was great. I'm I'm really enjoying this, just instrumentally and musically so far. I'm drawn to the blood, the flight of a one winged dove. How, how did this happen? How, how did this nice happen? Falsetto too. The strength of his arm My lover caught me off guard How Head of a rabbit How Head of a rabbit For my prayer Has always been love What did I do To deserve this Panning is cool. As fire to the sun, tell me what I have done. How part of a dragon, how part of a dragon for my prayer has always been love. What did I do to deserve this?
just got chills. had chills throughout my entire body when those synths came in and specifically when the strings came in <sighs> I was not expecting this much like electronic and ambient stuff too I thought it was going to be more just like guitars I don't know I thought it was going to be I was not expecting this much variety um, in terms of the instrumentals but I'm loving it I'm loving it like I said complete chills in that second section of that song um it's to end the the melt like just the the minor notes and the minor keys and the melodies are so heartbreaking um and i'm not even like really paying attention to the lyrics either which i'm guessing are just as heartbreaking um it's amazing <sighs> Light struck from the lemon tree What if I never seen hysterical light from your dream mm -hmm. Lemon yogurt Remember I pulled at your shirt I dropped the ashtray on the floor I just wanted to be near you Guitar playing is so nice. Wonders never cease. The man who taught me to swim, he couldn't quite say my first name. Do, 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 do. Like a father, he led community water on my head, and he called me Subaru. And now I want to be near you. This feels so intimate. Oh! Oh, I gotta go back. Sorry, just the way the guitar, those higher notes, the way they resonate with his higher notes and his voice, just... Mm. That. was super intimate that just felt like kind of just sitting beside the campfire some dude with a guitar just singing great writing great little backing vocal moments as well and like i said when that guitar hits those higher notes and it matches with the higher notes in his voice too the way they just kind of intertwine and resonate with each other was super satisfying um one of the more simple songs i would say no like switch up just this kind of repeating guitar phrase um, but he was still very enjoyable. Loved it. Keep going. Oh, 
Okay. Great atmosphere this one already. Fuzzy white noise too. Evil had spread like a fever ahead. It was night when you died, my firefly. What could I have said to raise you from the dead? Or could I be the sky on the fourth of July? Mm. Well, you do enough talk, my little hawk. Why do you cry? Tell me what did you learn from the Tillamook burn or the 4th of July? We're all gonna die. I don't even know what to say that is probably the best song so far in my opinion but also probably the most depressing and sad and i don't know man the way that just came in with that atmosphere um and then when those those lower end kind of bass sections came in it just gave me the chills every single time um and then that repeating phrase we're all gonna die at the end um yeah that was super depressing but 
it was amazing. Like, I was not expecting it to be this good, honestly. I just, wow. Okay, let's keep going. Frick. Ah. I 
I can't even like make commentary on that, bro. Like I'd feel <sighs> some of those lines in there. Like I am catching more of his writing now, and just some lines here and there. Um, one was, I believe, should I tear my arms out to feel your touch? That's just like, uh, what the frick, bro? Why? I got I got kind of teary eyed in that song because. Just the sound of it and just those lyrics and everything coming together was kind of insane. Um, and another line, everything I see returns to you somehow or something. That's just like... Oh, those are just freaking crazy good lines and crazy good writing. Like, But obviously also just super sad like i can't even like, thoughts bro this is way better than i thought it was gonna be honestly let's keep going Three, four. <sighs> the guitar playing in this whole thing is beautiful too I'm just gonna let it go hit in the next one don't got much to say <sighs> I keep getting the chills bro
Beloved of John, I get it all wrong. I read you for some kind of poem, covered in lines. The fossils I find have they no life of their own? So can we pretend sweetly before the mystery ends? I am a man with a heart that offends with its lonely and greedy demands. There's only a shadow. What do you want me to say? Like... <laughs> I know I didn't say anything like those past two songs, but... It's just so depressing and so... I don't even know. I kind of forgot I was doing a video. Like... <laughs> I, I literally have nothing to say. Like, this is just... It's so amazing. I got nothing. I search for 
Make my mother give wings to a stone. It's only the shadow of a cross. There he goes again. A subtle change, but the soundscape is. Let's just last track. I'm not stopping it. That was amazing.
I don't even know what to say. Once again, I was not expecting it to be this good. Um, I've never really done an album like this on this channel so far. So it was kind of weird. I know it didn't like say much during the songs, but it just felt kind of weird to talk during them. Like usually I don't have that problem with this. It just felt kind of weird to like interrupt it because I don't know. It's just so like heartbreaking and sad and important what he's talking about. And like, I don't know. I just felt kind of disrespectful to talk during these songs. I know I was earlier, but once I like kind of got more into the mood of the album, I said less because like I said, it just didn't feel right. Um, that was, that was Sufjan Stevens, Carrie and Lowell. That might be some of the best songwriting I've listened to on this channel. Um, like I didn't, there's a lot of stuff, most of the stuff that I don't fully understand. Um, because it is so heavy with imagery, but there are some lines in there that just kind of hit you like a ton of bricks. Um, yeah, this thing's freaking depressing, super depressing. And I was gonna, I was gonna say this during the song, but like I said, I didn't want to interrupt it. In this last one, those string sections on the outro kind of reminded me of uh, "How to Disappear Completely" by Radiohead just kind of wailing strings and it's just kind of these swirling strings that kind of just engulf you um and it feels like you're kind of lost um and i'm guessing that's what he was trying to pray, portray because that's probably what he's feeling definitely not like a a happy ending doesn't sound like at least sonically um just super like once again those wailing kind of strings um super depressing super freaking depressing holy um like i said the songwriting and this is great but what i really am like super impressed with is just like the instrumentals on this too and the production um and the soundscapes too on a lot of these songs like coming into this like i said i thought it was just going to be a guitar his voice and that's it for a lot of it but there is a lot of different like varied stuff going on without or within the production um some ambient stuff some electronic stuff nice big string sections um it's just yeah the production's great too and i really was not expecting that um like i said i gotta listen to these listen to this again to pick up on more lyrics but there was some in some of those songs where they just hit you bro and when they hit you when they hit they hit when they hit they hit hard um yeah, I really like his voice. It's really calming, kind of really soothing. Um, but for a lot of this album, it does feel like he's on the brink of just like tears, honestly. Um, he's kind of like out of breath and kind of like, I don't know, there's something about the quality of, of his voice that's just super emotional. Um, but a lot, of it, a lot of it, even though it is such a depressing album, a lot of it sonically sounded really warm as well. Um, which is kind of an interesting contrast. Um, but yeah, the guitar playing was great throughout. There's I can't, I, there's really not much to complain about. Um, yeah, that's it. Sufjan Stevens, Carrie and Lowell. Great album. Let me know your thoughts on this album down below. Um, should I do more Sufjan Stevens? Let me know down below. I definitely want to after this album. Um, and yeah. Let me know any, like, backstory to this or anything I missed with this, too, as well, down below. Um, that was crazy. That was crazy good. Holy crap. But also just, like, super depressing. Um, it feels just kind of weird talking about this because it is an album about death, and it is very depressing and sad and <sighs> just powerful. So, yeah, that's going to do it. Sufjan Stevens, Carrie, and Lowell, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. And um, yeah, I'll probably do, be doing some more Sufi on in the future. So stay tuned for that. Bye.